All right. So uh, this uh, next video is uh, a video I haven't seen yet, but uh, it's my favorite song on the album. Um, <clears throat> I had a recent conversation, which I recorded um, with my producer friend, and uh, I let him listen to On uh, as the first track of the album, and uh, he liked it. He liked it a lot. Um, he liked everything except for that sample of the guy. Do 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 do. Um, he's he he doesn't he has, he doesn't have a problem with the actual sample. It's just uh, I think uh, he said uh, uh, the quality of that sample could have been better. Um, I don't particularly agree because I don't think there's anything wrong with that sample. But uh, he was he was satisfied with that uh, song. And then I purposely, after that, I let him listen to uh, Black Swan. Uh, he had listened to it before, but uh, I think he forgot about the song. And uh, he focused a, a lot more this time listening to it, and he was utterly amazed at, at the song. He, he says there's, this song is perfect in every way. Uh, and I agree. I, I, I agree. Um, uh, there's no way um, they could have done anything different to that song and, and, and made it uh, better. They really uh, optimized that song to the max. And um, to him, he says this song, uh, Black Swan, is the best BTS song he's ever heard. All right, we'll move into the next this video, Black Swan. Sorry about that. Am I gonna cry? Because this song makes me emotional. My man, Jimin snapped. Uh, this uh, song, particular song, is perfect for the style of uh, uh, Jimin's uh, contemporary dance. Oh my god, <clears throat> this song is such a masterpiece. It's. How can you beat this song? <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it that uh, you guys uh, appreciate an on-beat uh, pause. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my god, this song, every time. Um, <clears throat> you know, when you listen to a song, and when you're walking around, or in the gym, or in the car, you don't really focus, focus, like uh, the way we're focusing right now. Uh, but when you do it, it really just reminds you uh, of the impact and, and the, the quality uh, a song like this has on you. And uh, <sighs> I'm still amazed. <laughs> I'm still amazed uh, at the quality. And, and um, my friend was amazed as well. It's uh, always proud when I hear this song. Um, <clears throat> the last couple of days, I've been uh, constantly watching Carpool Karaoke uh, featuring uh, BTS. Uh, we, I, wa I actually streamed that, um, but I didn't really get to look at it uh, up close. And it is so fun to watch. I, I think I watched it 16 times uh, the past two days. A total of 16 times. Um, and I read through about at least a, a thousand comments on the, um, on the video. Y you know there's like 180,000 comments on that. Uh, uh, there's no way I'm going to get through all of them, but uh, uh, it's so fun to read. Um, I I'm addicted. And um, <clears throat> I think this, is the, this video is the moment where I really understood... Um, Jin, <laughs> uh, because uh, he was hilarious uh, when he says um, "joku guy" and then like uh, Corden cracks up with uh, with uh, RM. Oh my goodness, I love him! I can't believe he has the guts to say that. And even though it doesn't make sense uh, uh, grammar-wise, like everyone really just understands it, um, and it, and. You know, even uh, if he can't speak English, uh, it really just comes through. You can you you can understand, and and even the comments reflected that um, people were saying he's a natural comedian. Uh, I love that guy. Uh, even not that, just like the the uh, the back row where um, Jin and Sugar are discussing friends. Like they're saying, yeah, we I watched it, but I didn't learn English. It's so cute because they didn't know they're going to be on camera and it, it came out and it aired. It's hilarious. Um, and I imagine people who don't know uh, Korean humor or, or BTS or, or this style of uh, TV, they would be like really interested because of this. Um, I, and I think it was a very good showcase for uh, the group um, on introducing who they really are. Um, you know, they could come off as uh, <clears throat> untalented, you know, kind of like, like uh, you know, pretty and untalented and airheaded or, or like dickheads or like fuckboys. Uh, but no, they came off as really lovely, uh, humble and genuine and very talented because uh, uh, you saw Jungkook uh, sing live there and it was uh, very, very impressive with how he sang it. It was... Uh, I think I watched Jungkook's part uh, many times as well, um, and even in the comments, people were uh, impressed with his live vocals. Uh, so it was a proud, proud, very proud moment for me. Um, I think it really captured their their personalities as, as well. Uh, RM being in the front as a leader, uh, Jimin very being very adorable, um, having that connection with uh, Corden as uh, the mochi, the little mochi, the papa mochi. And then you have a bright uh, sunshine, uh, J-Hope. And then you got uh, uh, Jungkook singing his butt off. And then you got the uh, crackhead and gin and, and sugar. Um, and then you got a, a shy and timid uh, V who uh, clapped when he wasn't supposed to clap during the friend's song. It was uh, very, very cute uh, all around. and. Uh, if you have time, 
uh, just go through the comments over there because a lot of people, new fans who didn't know anything about BTS uh, were captivated. And uh, I think uh, that changed a lot and, and brought some new fans, new armchairs were created uh, that day. And uh, it was a very good showing. It was, and I was proud. I actually, um, <clears throat> I got emotional <laughs> watching one part. And it was, uh, it's a weird place to get emotional too. It was like when they were singing... Um, Post Malone Circle, you know, it was just like a feel good song and they were all like humming and like they were on tune. It sounded good. Uh, and it, it felt like they belonged. It felt like they belonged uh, on that show uh, where they're at and they're being finally recognized. And that, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, that song kind of got to me when they're all singing. They, they really are big stars. It, it, it hit. Um, yeah, and that was a good showing. I'm probably going to watch it about uh, 10 more times before I get sick of it. But uh, uh, Also, uh, Papa Mochi, thank you for uh, creating such a good segment. And thank you for learning the words to their songs <laughs> and singing along. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you. <clears throat> I'm not getting emotional because I'm an armchair. I'm getting emotional because they are uh, my countrymen. All right. So don't uh, get mixed up. Don't be tweeting out some weird, weird uh, propaganda. <laughs> uh, we'll play that song, um, Post Malone song, uh, sometime later today. All right. Now we're getting into new stuff.